I say yo, welcome to the BVW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you have The topic for today is Impact Wrestling Slammiversary. Going down this weekend, this is a big deal. I'm not going to lie. This is a very big deal for, Slam for Impact Wrestling. Now, they have already had two major injuries. A few months ago, Josh Alexander was the World Heavyweight Champion for them. He got injured with a torn pec. And then Steve Macklin, who they was building up for a very long time since he signed with them, he ended up getting injured. So neither one of them is on this show right now. So let's get into the main event. Alex Shelley as the World Champion going up against Nick Aldis. Um, Alex Shelley is the first time World Champion, you feel me? He's probably one of the last... And unpack wrestling originals like TNA originals to become world champion. Everybody else has been world champion, probably besides him and probably Frank Frankie Kazarian. Nick Aldis, I feel like he's not signed to Impact Wrestling long term. He's not. He's probably there for like a six month contract, eight month contract, but he's not signed there for long. I'm still surprised he didn't shine, um, show up in WWE yet. But this is a big match. This is Alex Shelley's first title defense. Um. At first, I would have said Nick Aldis is going to win, but I feel like Alex Shelley is going to win. I feel like it's too soon to take the belt off Alex Shelley. It's too soon. But then it's like, I don't know who else they got on the roster that they go, that's world championship material. I don't know. You feel me? It's not. They can't put the belt on Bully Ray. If they don't put on Nick Aldis, who are they going to put it on? Moose? No. I feel like they don't have no real main event talent like that in Impact Wrestling with them two injuries. I got Alex Shelley winning. Next, we got Deron Deanna Peraza versus Trinity for the knockouts title. Um, this is going to be a good match. Very good match. And I don't know if Trinity became a draw since she went to Impact, but a lot of people are watching Impact Wrestling because Trinity's there. So does that mean they should put the belt on her? No, I feel like it's too soon. I feel like it's too soon to put the belt on her. But in TNA, that means they're going to do it. TNA always do shit way too early. Way too early. So I can see them putting a the belt on her. But I feel like, what's next? There's a lot of people she could fight in the knockouts division. But I feel like it's way too soon. Way too soon. I got Deanna Perrazzo with it. Next, we got Chris Saban versus Leo Rush for the X division title. This is going to be a good match. I'm expecting a good match from this. Again, I got Chris Saban retaining. I got Chris Saban retaining. So that's three title retains I got. Next, we got Chris Ban Ace Austin versus Moose and Brian Myers. Versus Rich Swan and Sammy Callahan versus Subculture Mark Andrews and what's the son of the name? Mark Andrews and something else. They're from NXT UK. For the tag titles, I got ABC winning. I got Chris Bay Ace Austin winning. They've become a really good team. They was a makeshift team, but they've become a really good team. They got nice, good chemistry. I like them. Next, we got the Co the Coven versus Masha Slamovich and Killer Kelly. I see a tag titles happen here. I see a title change happening here. I see Kelly Kelly and Masha Slamovich winning. They was just feuding with each other for months. Now they teaming up together. I see them winning the belts. I see them winning. Next, we got Frankie Kazarian with Tracy Brooks versus Eddie Edwards and Alicia Edwards. Um, I got Cass winning. I got Cass winning this. And they just bought in Tracy Brooks. She's been a TNA original from a long, long time ago. She's really good, and she's really beautiful. Shout out to her. I got Frankie Kazarian winning. Next, we got Mike Bailey versus Jonathan Gresham versus Kushida versus Kevin Knight versus Allen Angels for the Ultimate X. I don't know if this is a number one contender match or what, but I'm going with... I would say Mike Bailey because they're really pushing him a lot, but I might go with Jonathan Gresham. He could be someone that's in the world championship picture too, Jonathan Gresham. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to push him like that. But I definitely could see Mike Bailey winning it. And then on the countdown show is Joe Hendry versus Kenny King. I got Joe Hendry winning. Then it's the Def, Joel, Def Dolls and Jody Threat versus Giselle Shaw, Savannah Evans, and Jay Vidal. I got the Def Dolls winning. Now, they also be doing a thing impact called Option C where the X Division champion could relinquish his belt and challenge for the world title. Right now, both Machine Guns is world champions. 
I don't know if Chris Saban is going to win his title tonight, well, retain his title tonight, and then challenge for option C. So then we get Alex Shelley versus Chris Saban. I feel like... Oh, and then the main event is Bully Ray and Cody Dina versus Scott Demore and a mystery partner. I really don't care about that match. Scott Demore is going to win. Back to what I was saying. Ace, I mean, Alex Shelley and Chris Saban, that could be a good match. That could be a title match. And because they don't know have, have no real main adventures impact, I probably would do that. I would do that sooner than later. While Alex Shelley has the belt, I would probably do a Chris Saban versus Alex Shelley match. One, they don't have to turn heel for the match. They both can stay baby faces. And then after one, after Chris Saban lose, it's just a great match and they can still be teammates. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.